So here are three reasons that you may carry on your parents' harmful beliefs and how you can try to turn that around. So with this being Thanksgiving holiday, I know some of you may have had some less than pleasant experiences with family. I'm Jennifer and I help parents overcome their guilt, shame, and regret so they don't pass it on to their kids. One, your first impressions, interactions, and memories of your parents are from when you're really small. And so with you being way down here and their being up there like giants, it created this sort of unconscious hierarchy. You're down here, they're up here. So try and change that dynamic to see your parents and yourself on more of a level ground. Two, theirs were the first voices that you heard. This created your first beliefs about yourself in the world. So the voice that you hear in your head, causing fear, shame, worry, regret, you believe it to be your own and parts of it are. However, it didn't start out that way. It started as the voice of your parents, which you then recorded and started behaving from. You started echoing that voice without even knowing it. It was unconscious under your awareness. Over time, it may shift into what you perceive as your voice, but you really need to ask yourself, is this truly my voice or is it someone else's? Three, behaviors, actions, and reactions, they were modeled to you at a very young age. You recorded those. You were exposed to these things repeatedly. And even though you may not have understood them at the time, your brain fills in the gaps. Even though this all happens unconsciously, it still affects how you live in the present. So again, ask yourself, are these behaviors, actions, reactions, and beliefs truly mine, or are they someone else's? I wish you all good things and happy parenting.